quick revision video on calculating the pH of a solution that contains a strong acid and a strong alkali. So here's the first one. If you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready. Otherwise, keep listening. So the first thing we need to do in this one is appreciate that what's actually reacting with each other are the H plus ions from the acid and the OH minus ions from the alkali to form a water molecule. So what we're going to do first of all is work out the initial moles of acid and alkali. And obviously with the two in this question, they're both monobasic and so the moles of acid will be the moles of H plus and the moles of alkali will also be the moles of OH minus. So we've got 0 0.002 moles of acid or H plus, that's just from concentration times volume and we've got 0 0.0015 moles of alkali and therefore OH minus. So the next thing we do is work out the final moles and you can see the acids in excess. So all we do is take away this number here from this number here to get how many moles of, in this case, acid are left, H plus. So to calculate pH, we need to know the H plus concentration. So we've got the moles of H plus. The final volume that these H plus ions are in are the combined volume of the 20 and the 30, so that's 50 cm cubed. So the H plus concentration moles over volume, 0.01 moles per decimeter cubed, and then we just minus log that and get a pH of 2. So here's the next one. Again, if you want to pause the video, have a go and then play on when you're ready. Same reaction taking place, H plus plus OH minus gives water. Both monobasic acid and alkali, so the moles of the chemical are the moles of the ion. So initial moles of H plus, 0 0.005, moles of OH minus 0 0.025. So this time the OH minus ions are in excess. So the final moles of H plus will be zero, and the final moles of OH minus are 0 0.02. So we'll turn those moles into concentration. So we've got a total volume of 150 cm cubed. So the hydroxide ion concentration is 0 0.133 recurring. And what we're going to do now is because the OH minus ions are in excess, we need to use Kw. Remember, 25 degrees C, Kw has a value of 1 times 10 to the minus 14. Because ultimately, we need the H plus concentration to then minus log for the pH. So H plus concentration is Kw divided by OH minus ion concentration. So that gives us an H plus concentration, you can see there, of 7.5 times 10 to the minus 14. Now we minus log, and we get 13.12 to two decimal places. So here's the final one. Again, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answer. So you can see now we've got um, a different mole ratio in the equation. It's not 1 to 1 anymore, it's 2 to 1. But basically the ionic equation is still the same as before because we'd have 2 H plus ions, 2 OH minus ions, making 2 waters. And obviously those 2s will cancel to what we've had in the previous two equations. So same as before, initial moles... So you can see there's some extra information. We've got 0 0.005 moles of HCl, and that's going to give us the same number of moles of H plus ions because it's monobasic. The calcium hydroxide, however, we've got the same moles of calcium hydroxide as HCl because we've got the same concentration and volume, but this time, because it's dibasic, we get twice as many moles of OH minus ions. So the final moles are going to be 0 of H plus and 0 0.005 moles of OH minus. And because the OH minus ions are in excess, we need to use Kw to get the H plus concentration. So we'll turn those moles of OH minus ions into a concentration by dividing by the total volume. Plug it into the rearranged Kw expression to get the H plus concentration. Minus log gives us that pH of 